everyone, welcome to my channel. So I make movie commentary videos and podcasts. If you're new here, that's pretty much all I do. And if you're coming back, welcome back. Uh, this is going to be another podcast. So yeah, but uh, today it's going to be a bit more of a serious topic uh, because I don't know. I just this has been this is something that has been on my mind for a while now, and I would just like to talk about it and give my two cents on this. So the first thing I want to talk about today is beauty pageants. I know it's a bit of a it's not that much of a controversial topic, but I I there I feel like there's a lot to unpack regarding this topic regarding beauty pageants and just you know competitions where people's appearances are judged so uh, I'll try to explain in a non-offensive way because again it's people's personal opinions and I do respect it but um, I also think that everything should we should be able to criticize everything right and uh, we should be able to have conversations regarding topics that have a lot to deal with women and uh, their appearances and since objectification is such a huge issue in our society and in our culture and just everywhere as a whole so i believe that this i believe i'm allowed to give my two cents on this and just really discuss what um, what i think and discuss my thoughts on the whole beauty pageant aspect <laughs> anyway, so um, the topic that I wanted to discuss is the beauty pageants, of course. So first of all, I feel like beauty pageants are just completely unnecessary and uh, wrong for so many reasons. To start off with, it's comparing something that people don't really... It's, it's, it's making people compete against each other for something that they don't have any control over. And... I mean, to start to start with that, it feels so unfair that that is what the competitions are about, right? So, uh, so what happens in a beauty pageant is people, women. Let's just talk about women's beauty pageants. I do not know if there are men's beauty pageants or not, especially like in Bangladesh, Dhaka. I don't see that here, and as for abroad and anywhere else, I do not. I'm not aware of beauty pageants that have men in them i i've never heard of them so let's just stick to like women's beauty pageants right and so what happens in these uh competitions is basically women are asked to come line up and then they're just based on their appearances their height their weight their uh, facial and bone structure the way they look the way they appear the way they carry themselves etc etc right so uh, uh Everything that I have mentioned so far, aside from the fact that, aside from the point of them carrying themselves, how they carry themselves, everything else is mostly out of their control. You get what I mean? I mean, you don't have any control over how tall or short you are. You don't have any control over how, uh, how, what do you call it? Like your weight disposition. So I, I do know that you can lose weight if you want to. You can stay fit. But there are people who have no control over it. They might have thyroid issues. They might have obesity and genetically be more disposed to be obese. And they might have, you know, tons of hormonal issues. So just, you know, mostly a lot of people, a lot of women do, do not have control over this. And then facial symmetry. A lot of women... No one has control over their facial features. It's just something that happens naturally through a genetic process. Even our parents, anyone's parents, no one has control over what genes are going to be uh, passed down to them and what their, you know, uh, what their child is going to look like, what they are going to look like, right? So everything, mostly, that these competitions, at least in the first uh, half of the stages that they judge girls upon are completely out of these women's controls so out of these girls control so i mean to start off it is completely unfair 
and people who just win the genetic lottery get the advantage point or just are are the only ones that get to stay right the other problem i have with beauty pageants is that they sugarcoat the entire thing with this wholesome vibe this wholesome message that uh it's not what's on the inside it's not what's on the outside that only counts but also what's on the inside but dude you are starting the competition based on physical appearances based on something no one can control and then you're telling me that what's on the inside is what matters also you mean i have to be attractive first and then what's on the inside can matter also you just do you not see what is completely wrong about this uh about these competitions and what message they're sending either subliminal either like it's a very subliminal message it's very um i mean even if someone cannot see the flaws and the, what what's really wrong with these competitions outright when a girl will be looking at these competitions or be uh will come to see the women that are participating in these co- uh, competitions they are going to compare themselves to these women and think like okay so to be able to represent a country or to win a certain competition i would need these 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 traits these physical appearances and without these i am not beautiful enough because no matter what these competitions tell you they are finding people that they think are beautiful they are judging beauty and then they will cover up this entire thing with the message that what's on the inside is also what counts so not only do you have to be uh very tall very skinny very uh you have to have a certain uh skin complexion which is actually changing nowadays but i mean that just it's just still so problematic and also you have to know how to be confident and carry yourself you have to be skilled you have to do this like everything right and the thing is people who are actually skilled or more skilled will feel this anxiety or this insecurity that even though i have all of these skills that i developed i am still not pretty objectively maybe what they're telling us like this is beauty that's that is beauty and i don't have those things so i guess you know i'm not as perfect and this is in the entirety of all of this is what just bothers me so much about beauty pageants and i i don't know how people justify it i mean i i know that in our society uh when i say our society i mean we live in a society <laughs> i mean uh everywhere it's just i'm pretty sure it happens outside of our culture too like outside of the south asian culture um but it happens more here women are just objectified in every part of their lives especially since they uh since they start to uh grow into women so say when you're 12 or 13 you're not really growing into a woman but it's just like you're transforming from a child to a girl and it's that's when the objectification actually starts so just think how young these girls are and you know that's when girls are mostly pushed towards makeup and um other beauty standards uh they're pushed towards pink stuff they're pushed towards uh girly things there are girls that gravitate towards those things i know but also there is this precedent that's set that you're a girl and you have to uh look a certain way like certain things and be a certain way right so when i'm thinking when these girls see these competitions they're like okay so i have to look a certain way to be considered beautiful and i have to if i don't have those things it's just like i will never be able to participate in these things and i guess i'm not beautiful then but then they'll watch these things and shows and they'll think okay so these women are so perfect they have the beauty and then they have you know um and then they have all of these skills and they're just like they're saying these uh just wholesome uh very uh, you know very nice uh wise messages so 
uh, they're going to feel insecure and they're and you know just I, I don't know what what does that that really do to a young girl who's just finding out her place in the world or just finding out who she is in the world right as a girl or a woman like like what is she going to think and why are we making them insecure based on something they don't have any control over so i want to make another video regarding this i want to make another video regarding um beauty and uh beauty standards set by society society and um you know just people who get plastic surgery and just there's so many uh, things i come across on the internet every day so i just i would like to talk about those for sure um but say, uh, coming back to the beauty pageant thing um yeah so that's my main problem the main two problems i have are the fact that these women you know are judged on their appearances something that they have zero control over just some people just win the genetic lottery and they just look a certain way without trying and to they have this entire unfair advantage and you're telling me these are the women that get to represent the country any country and uh women who are less attractive uh, considering society's standards are just not even allowed to participate or compete and they just even if they do they just you know they'll get thrown out right and the other problem is that um you are taking something so <laughs> that is just objectifying women so much and it's just so misogynistic and you are handing a very wholesome message to it you're making it just so sweet as if we don't see the the you know direct objectification here as if girls are not gonna see it and think oh okay I, I, it doesn't matter if I'm nice, I have to be pretty first. I have to look a certain way first. So, um, what can we do, honestly, to... Uh, I know that we will never get rid of these pageants. I mean, for God's sake, Donald Trump has his own... He funds... Is, is, is Miss Universe his competition? I don't know. I mean, how fitting is it? How apt is it that he's the one that's creating... Like, the most misogynistic person, a uh, public person the most openly misogynistic public person has a beauty competition that judges women based on their physical appearances what a surprise right so i'm sorry i just went on a tangent i forgot what point i was trying to make but yeah so yeah what can we do what can we do to what do we do here right as individuals so i would first and foremost say like women who participate in these i don't blame you i mean you know beauty is a currency in our world the prettier you are the more likely you're going to be treated nicely and people are going to you know be more open towards you and just you're gonna have a lot of advantages in like uh fields of work you're going to be uh just appreciated more i guess noticed more and on top of that if you have skills and uh, on top of being beautiful you're more likely to be celebrated and that is just a very sad fact but that's that's we cannot change that so if you're participating in these competitions i get it i I don't know if you're confident enough to think that you're beautiful and you're going to uh, win the competition I mean more power to you I guess I mean that's good you're confident but also I would like you to consider uh, this fact that what message are you sending to your younger self or what message are you sending to girls around you because it doesn't matter how skilled you are you when you participate in something that's entirely misogynistic that's entirely based on the objectification of women are you comfortable knowing that and still winning the prize or just you know going through the stages i mean it's just something we're thinking about right um what message are you sending to young girls what are you telling them like okay you can be skilled but first you have to be beautiful if you're not beautiful you aren't worthy enough to represent the country or win this competition 
and hey there is nothing you can do about this you can get surgeries i guess to look a certain way you can do operations you can uh almost kill yourself to lose certain like lose weight you can also you have to like mope around thinking about certain things that are way out of your control and there are certain reasons why you would probably never be allowed to compete in these competitions right so all of this to say is like um i would say to these women like um do consider you know do consider what you're doing is is it worth it is it worth uh setting this precedent for younger girls and i know i know i I'm, i mean i know that beauty competitions are just going to be there forever and they're going to get even cheesier and more fake you know they're going to um make it seem like uh the women are i mean the competition is more than just finding someone beautiful it's about finding uh, a skilled woman that is just beautiful inside and out my problem is the beautiful out that is on the outside right beauty on the outside just doesn't count for anything because you don't have any control over it so to have a competition if you want to have a competition to find someone who's objectively beautiful just do that you know don't sugarcoat it with like these messages that you that are clearly not appropriate that you are just putting on because because you want to sell the thing more you want to sell the show more or something i don't know that's just you know again my two cents on this i just i do not like the concept of beauty pageants they they just make me feel really i mean i am past the stage of uh, i'm what i'm 23 years old i'm gonna be 24 soon i'm at a stage where i'm comfortable with who i am and i'm not looking at beauty standards anymore i'll do what i want to do i you know i'm i'm getting more comfortable being me but i also think about a younger me or my my friends when they were younger or my friends there are some girls i know still now right who are constantly comparing themselves to certain beauty standards and thinking i'm not this i'm not that and when you have these shows that are just so celebrated just these women that win are so insanely celebrated that it just makes me feel really terrible about the young girls that look up to this or the young girls that are comparing themselves to these so i don't know i feel like we can do a better job at this and you know i mean maybe it's our responsibility to, to not participate in um these competitions these superficial competitions that are based off of objectifying women but yeah that's that's just what i think and i know that it's never gonna stop and it's probably going to get even worse as time goes on but yeah you know like even if this video makes you think twice about it then i, I guess that would be nice <laughs> that would be good so yeah uh that is it for today's video uh i'm going to keep this short and i'm probably going to uh film another one in a while and that's going to be on a different topic but i just wanted to talk about this a lot because this is something that just bothers me all the time just looking at you know how people um people celebrate this uh, I mean the women that participate and win are I, I, I genuinely think they're amazing women of course they are but the you know the competitions the it's the competition itself feels very misogynistic to me and I feel like we are sending out the wrong messages to uh, younger girls and I feel like we are doing them a disservice and I feel like we should be more responsible and we should help women accept themselves more and not and not you know send them this message whether directly or indirectly that hey you have to look a certain way to be worthy enough and then you can you know be skilled and anything else but first you have to look a certain way you have to be a certain way and i just feel like that's wrong but I mean that's my personal opinion so yeah um, that's it for today's video I hope you liked this if you like this please do uh, I don't know don't do anything <laughs> I feel so weird saying leave a like because 
I, I don't know, maybe I'll get comfortable later. But uh, for now, I just hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!